Ouais, ouais, pas de soucis, pas de soucis. <laughs> My name is uh, Joop Lensink. I'm uh, at the moment Dean of Academic Affairs for the Master's level at Junia. So in normal time, I'm also a lecturer, researcher in agriculture, uh, specifically in animal science for the ISA program. My name is Céline Casagrande and uh, I am a lecturer in the food science department. I'm Naina Andremandroso, uh, I'm a lecturer researcher in the agriculture and landscape sciences department of FISA Lille. And I'm specialized in uh, the use of technologies in agriculture and in uh, livestock, so uh, in the topic of smart farming. So I'm uh, Nadege Oustrier, I'm an assistant professor here at uh, ISA. I'm mainly involved uh, in the teaching of toxicology and ecotoxicology and as, as a researcher I uh, mostly try to find solutions to uh, revalorize brownfield. Uh, I've participated in Erasmus Plus uh, for several years now uh, already. I've uh, been majorly implicated in staff mobility, uh, specifically for Sweden and Ukraine. So I gave lectures over there and at the same time uh, welcoming uh, staff, colleagues from those universities over here in Lille. I've been in the uh, Czech Republic, uh, in Ghana, in the Netherlands and I will go to Ukraine uh, in November. So since my arrival at ISA Lille, I already knew that uh, coordinating an Erasmus Plus project will be my first and main task. So I had the occasion during the three first years at ISA, so since 2017, to coordinate an Erasmus Plus project named Smart Farming. Uh, then, uh, since uh, end of October 2020, uh, this project continued for a new one, for new three years, so another Erasmus Plus project named Green Smart. And of course, beside that, I was already invited to, to teach and to make some exchanges into some uh, other universities uh, in Ghana, in Russia, and uh, that was my uh, main experience in Erasmus+. Plus. Uh, I have participated in uh, several Erasmus+, Plus, uh, mobilities, uh, either in, uh, for job shadowing in England or Belgium, or for training in Spain. Uh, I also joined uh, Erasmus Plus uh, Mobilities with, with some colleagues and we went to teach in the United States and uh, to Siren before the, border, the borders close uh, in early 2020. I had the chance to improve my network, that's for sure. Meet a lot of uh, people, different researchers, different teachers from uh, those country and I learned a lot uh, about their culture and it's helped me a bit to understand a bit better the, the student that I'm working with. Through Erasmus Plus I gained a lot. Really uh, it was a good experience to meet other teachers from other countries so to open my network and especially in the domain of uh, smart farming it was the occasion to, to meet a new way of working to share ideas of possible research topics and of course to exchange our knowledge to the local students. So uh, a lot of um, experiences, bigger network and of course discover new cultures in other countries than France. It is a good point to improve my technical English and uh, it's a good opportunity to uh, extend uh, my um, professional network by meeting some uh, peers and uh, so it's a good way to uh, welcome new uh, guest lecturers. I have several uh, favorite Erasmus uh, memories, I would say. Um, one of my best memories, or there are finally several of them, is finally the fact that my colleagues, uh, specifically in Sweden, have become my friends. So we spend a good life together in the evening. Uh, we see each other, spend some additional time with them, or even in summer holidays, I go and see them in Sweden. 
And a second memory in a global memory is uh, being with the students, uh, having some practical uh, aspects and visits with them and being with international students is really very interesting and meeting and discussing with them is uh, really important for me. Uh, and it's a good memories for me. We were in Ghana uh, having uh, dinner with all of the teacher and uh, some colleague from Junia and we were trying to eat fufu which is a, a meal, a kind of a soup which is very hot and uh, spicy so it was uh, quite difficult to eat and uh, at the end I uh, didn't succeed but uh, for next time, uh, I'm sure I will, I will try again and I will uh, succeed this time. During my stay in Ghana, uh, in which I had the occasion to teach normally in front of 20 to 30 students, by, but uh, a surprise was given by uh, the colleagues from uh, KNUST and I really appreciated that. So thank you, uh, Professor Antwi, for that you fulfilled the entire amphitheater and so the, the room was full of students. I was quite surprised but uh, I was very happy and uh, it was a good experience of, of teaching and uh, with a lot of questions and exchanges with those students so I think it could be one of my favorite memory in Erasmus Plus. Um, maybe it was when I uh, uh, found myself in, uh, in Valencia in Spain in November with uh, my uh, suitcase full of uh, seasonal clothes such as a jumper and a warm coat and it was still 20 degrees there uh, the same weather than here in in summer so after the the working day I have to go to, to do some shopping to buy some short sleeve clothes and uh, because it was uh, so amazing to be there in November with 20 degrees. Virtual mobility is uh, less interesting, I have to say, than uh, the real presence mobility when you go to another country or when you're welcome. Uh, it's another way of interacting with students. So you have to challenge them more. It's, uh, it costs you less time, but you have to, 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 to do your teaching and to do your exercise with the students in a different way. It's a different exercise, finally. As far as I'm concerned, uh, virtual mobility was the occasion to continue to pursue our teaching uh, activity even uh, with the health situation. Uh, of course I would recommend it because it's a really good uh, way to, to meet some um, peers and to uh, exchange uh, about um, good practices and especially to come back here with uh, new ideas uh, to improve the, the way of teaching. Yeah, I always strongly recommend uh, the Erasmus experience to my colleagues because first of all it's something different when being with other students from other nationalities in another university setup. Uh, it's always interesting to see how students react but also how does a student uh, organization or university work uh, because sometimes we're in our own running phase and our own business so it's interesting to see something else and second is also it's an intercultural it's a cultural experience uh, which is important uh, and I strongly recommend this is really uh, something which is a really worthful and worthwhile for uh, for our for our job. So. Sure, I will recommend it uh, because uh, first it's a lot of fun. Uh, usually we, we go uh, together with a colleague from ISA, so it uh, helps us to improve our network here, but also our networks uh, on those foreign uh, countries, and we learn a lot from uh, them. I would say yes, of course. It's a really nice experience to participate in an Erasmus Plus project. It's really important, I already told it, for uh, opening our network, but I think it's also important to see other colleagues working in our domain of uh, expertise as, as teacher, but also as, as researcher. So I think I could say I really invite all colleagues to participate in such great experience. You will gain a lot 
besides traveling, it's uh, also uh, a big occasion to uh, improve our way of teaching with such exchanges. <music>